everybody, how are you doing this week? It's Harry here and for those of you in the UK and anywhere in fact, it's Father's Day in the UK today, so happy Father's Day. If you're a father, if you've got a father, if you had a father, if you know a father, then happy Father's Day to you and everyone that you know who happens to be a father. Thinking about Father's Day, it got me thinking about this video that I was going to release for you today and I remembered back when I was growing up, just all the wonderful things that my dad did for me. So firstly, I just want to say thank you, Dad, for doing all these amazing things, such as building me a basketball net and backboard for me to play when I was a kid. But one of the things that stuck out in my mind was all the early morning starts that we both did in order for me to do my maths homework. It really, really helped me. and. It's kind of the subject that I wanted to talk about today because when I was at school, everyone thought, oh, you know, Harry, he's really good at maths and he must come really effortlessly for him. But what they didn't see was the, the sort of six o'clock starts that I had with my dad to do my maths homework before school. And by doing that repeatedly over many months, many years, I did get good at maths and I was able to be ahead of the class but it wasn't necessarily natural talent. And this is what people seem to mistake. There's this myth perpetuated in society today about world-class natural talent and he's so gifted and especially now we've got the World Cup coming, we'll see all these kind of gifted and talented players. But what we won't realize is all the hours and hours and hours of work that's put in above and beyond what their teammates are doing in order to become that good. There's no such thing as world-class natural born talent. You don't get good like that just through talent alone. It's a myth. Have a look at some books like Bounce and The Talent Code and there's a few others which completely shatter this myth of natural born talent. And because we're in this society where we celebrate this idea of talent, it often makes people think that they can't get to where they want to get to because they don't realise actually the amount of hours and hours and hours that these people put in. And that's really the point. I got good at maths because I was getting up early, I was putting the hours in. And what, you, what happens is you get rewarded in public for what you do in private. People don't see the hours and hours you put in behind the scenes, they only see the end result. So if you're there now and you're pounding the pavement because you want to get fit or you're getting up early to go to the gym or you're doing something to improve your physical health, your relationships, your business, whatever it might be, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, why am I doing all this? Why am I spending so long doing this? It must, there must be an easier way. I'm, I'm probably not as good as everyone else. I want you to encourage you to keep going because really it's all about putting in the hours, putting in the practice, making the sacrifice now to get the rewards later. That's really all I wanted to say to you on this Father's Day. That and Happy Father's Day, obviously, to all the fathers out there. And please wish your fathers a Happy Father's Day if you haven't spoken to them yet. I just want to say thanks to my father for being an amazing dad, the best dad I can possibly ask for. I really appreciate all you've done for me. And until next time, spend the next week in that state of appreciation for both your parents and all that they've, they've done for you. That's all for this week. Have a fantastic week. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.